But another top story, the end of local ownership for Hawaiian Airlines continues to send shockwaves across the state. But many see the $2 billion buyout by Alaska Airlines as a chance to preserve the Hawaiian brand and perhaps improve service. Daryl Huff joins us with more reaction. Daryl. You know, there are still so many questions and sometimes less than crystal clear answers about what's ahead for Hawaiians more than 7,000 employees and an airline that has been part of Hawaii for generations. Honestly, when I, I got the call, I, I, was, I was sad. Second District Congresswoman Jill Takuda's district depends on Hawaiian for everything from family reunions to access to health care. As federal regulators review the deal, she'd like to see jobs protected as well as promises to fly more often to less serviced places. Maintaining affordable, sustainable, consistent routes for our neighbor islands, especially for me, increasing routes. In fact, this has to be additive, especially for Molokai and Lanai. That's just not how today's modern airline uh, uh, will operate. It's just not financially or operationally practical to do so. Analyst Henry Hartfeld says the deal is good for Hawaiian. It provides a price per share of $18, more than $13 over the price on Friday. It has Alaska assume nearly a billion dollars of Hawaiian's debt, protects union contracts, and promises the Hawaiian brand will live on. So, you know, from that standpoint, it shows me that this is being done because uh, Alaska wants to win Hawaiian. They don't want another suitor to come along and try to turn this into a bidding game. I think their route structures are complementary. Um, their cultures are complementary. And I think it's the best situation for Hawaii. Former Hawaii Tourism CEO, State Senator and Business Director Mike McCartney had helped Hawaiians survive through the years. Well, having a locally owned airline is what we should have always and should always strive for. But the global economics and the way the airline industry is, it became impractical. But on Hawaii News Now Sunrise, the two airline CEOs were clear that there are still many details to work out, like which non-union jobs are safe. I think that's something that um, that Ben and his team are going to look at over the next several months, and it's certainly one of the things uh, people are concerned about. So we're looking forward to saying, what more can we do, uh, you know, on top of what's already being done? For some of Hawaiian's top executives, the deal is worth a lot of money. CEO Peter Ingram has 340,000 shares of stock, which will rise by about value of $4.5 million by the time the deal is approved by stockholders and the government, which is expected to take a year to 18 months. Terrell Huff, Hawaiian News Now. Thank you.